Hannah Garner. I'm the coordinator of our Canine Good Citizen Ready and Total Obedience programs here at Austin Pets Alive. I teach the volunteers how to train our dogs. This is Junebug here. Uh, she is a long stay. She's been with us for about a year and a half. She's been in a couple of foster homes. She's been adopted once, um, but she has been here for a long time and is still trying to find the right home for her. APA is unique with how we um, handle and deal with our long stays in that we we don't give up on them. We don't have some sort of time restraints on our dogs in the shelter. Um, we give them the outlet and the training they need as long as they are here until we find the right home for them. Hi, I'm Jess. Uh, I'm a volunteer here. I've been here about seven years. This is Ludwig. He's one of our long stay dogs. He's been here for a little while. We brought him to APA uh, and we started working on his basic obedience right away so we could um, get him to recall away from the fence really easily and then all the basics like sit and down and, um, and approaching dogs on leash nicely. Teaching uh, our long side dogs the basics is the best thing we can do for their brain. If we if we understand a dog's history and a dog's behavior and we think that they're safe and they will make a great companion animal for somebody out there, even if it's a very particular somebody, we are going to keep giving them everything that we can give them while they're living in the shelter until they find their right home. This is Mercedes. Uh, she's another one of our home stay dogs. She is a lover. Huh, she loves all the people, but she's not good with dogs. Mercedes is a pretty good example of what our um, long stay dogs are. Uh, in some shelters, long stay dogs just stay for a long time because people don't see them, or they, they're a senior, or they might have this one little thing. Um, but at Austin Pets Alive, we purposefully pull dogs with some sort of history to come to us so we can help correct that, uh, correct or manage that behavior and help our adopters correct or manage that behavior in their home. Um, so most of the time when a dog comes, uh, they already have something, right? Because Austin Pets Alive searches out the dogs that need us the most. So the sick dogs, the, the dogs with parvo, the dogs with behavioral issues, those are all dogs that we're gonna help from the city shelter, um, mostly the city shelter and some from the surrounding areas. I think the, the best thing about APA is our behavior team because they work with the dog as an individual and evaluate them as an individual either through play groups, through handling, through assessments. And they find out what's going on and they go, okay, let's find the individual plan to help work with this dog. These dogs come with hundreds and hundreds of hours of training, both from our staff and our volunteers. We are with the adapters from start to finish. Um, they will meet with our dogs in the yard with a skilled matchmaker. They'll probably meet with our behavior team before they even take the dog home. And then we're with them throughout the adoption afterwards. Here at APA, we don't give up on our dogs for any sort of history um, as long as we think that it's work workable and we, we don't give up on them for medical reasons, for um, behavior stuff that we know that we can work through and or for time we just we don't give up on them um, even if they need to be here for a while we know that their right home is out there We're willing to go the extra mile acre <laughs> whatever your distance the light year to to go above and beyond and try to figure out these dogs and make sure that they have a safe placement in our community and there's no time limit on that so uh, they're here until we can we can figure them out and help their next person uh, figure them out too.